Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Okay, so let's do this, completing the square, with some steps. We'll go through the process here. So let's say we're given x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0, and we're going to use that to complete our square. So our a value is 1 here, okay? So what we want to do here, we can't, we know that we can't find two numbers that multiply to be 1, but add to be 4, all right? So we're going to bring that 1 over, and we have our first step written here, is subtract 1 both sides, getting us x squared plus 4x equals a negative 1, all right? So our b term, in this case, b equals 4, okay? Our b term is 4. Our second step says we take that b term and we multiply it by 1 half and then we square it all. Okay? So if b is 4, we have 4 times 1 half and we square that and that comes out to be, well, 4 times 1 half is 2. Square that is back to 4. So it's only really a coincidence here that it's 4, but it's 4. Okay? Our third step says we take that and add it to both sides of this equation. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4, that we found right here, equals a negative 1 plus 4. So we add that to both sides. Now we simplify where we can. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Basically simplify the right-hand side, which is 3. And what this kind of did for us gets us to our fourth step here. It allows us to really factor this, right? Creating it as a square. This is really, well, well two numbers multiply to 4, but add to positive 4, and it's positive 2. So x plus 2, and we can, it's x plus 2 squared. x plus 2 times x plus 2, but we write it as x plus 2 squared. Hence, completing the square. We got a 3 here. Then we use our properties, square root property, to solve. Square root both sides. Oh, let's do step five here. I'll write it as step five. To kind of show you the steps. I'll rewrite that here. So we have x plus two squared. So our next step is square root both sides. And we're left with really x plus two equals plus or minus square root of 3. When we do that, subtract 3 to both sides, and so we have x equals a minus 2, or subtract 2 to both sides, minus 2, plus or minus square root of 3. And so our two values here, I'll write our x equals a negative 2 plus square root of 3, and negative 2 minus square root of 3. So we did an example of completing square. Let's Let's go through another example. Repetition helps. So our next example here is x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. Okay. So again, follow our steps. We add a 5 to both sides. And we have x squared minus 3x equals a positive 5. From there, we take our b value, right? Our b value of negative 3, multiply it by 1 half, and we square that. Negative 3 times 1 half is a negative 3 halves, square of that, and we get a positive 9 fourths. Okay, a little tricky here. Plug that in here. <clears throat> 9 fourths gets added to both sides, so we have x squared minus 3x plus 9 fourths equals 5 plus 9 fourths. Okay, and this one's a little itty bitty tricky. Watch this x minus what squared equals 5 plus 9 fourths, which is 29 fourths. If you need practice the fractions, go do that. So, 9 fourths, well what, what two numbers multiply to be 9 fourths but add to be negative 3? And that's going to be a negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves is a positive 9 fourths, but together add to be negative 3. Now, we take a square root of both sides. We have x minus 3 over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 29 over 4. From there, we need to simplify. Okay, we're going to add a 3 halves both sides. x equals 3 halves 
plus or minus square root of 29 over 4. And we can still keep simplifying, right? The square root of 29 over 4 is x equals 3 halves plus or minus square root of 29 over 2, right? Square root of 4, we can just do that part, is 2. So our two solutions here, it's kind of large ones, but it's all right. And notice we have the same base, so we would write it like this. 3 plus square root of 29 all over 2, or 3 minus square root of 29 all over 2. And there we have it, okay? So now you should know how to solve by uh, quadratic by completing the square. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to your YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com